What is good guys, back with my SPL, this time a week 8 match between Zomok from the Tyrants and Poik from the Cryos. Looking at the teams real quick, I'm expecting the Zemo user on Zomok's side to be either the Kartana or the Bulu. Then the Scarfa, most likely the Landris to help him versus Pinsir. Then uh, Rocks Lefty, Tran, Megalady, and then either Black Sludge or Payapa Pex. Now, uh, Poik is either going to U-turn or Volt Switch out depending on the set here. We see from the damage that this Bulu is most likely not Assault Vest, it's probably offensive, it could be a Bandit or SD variant. So Poik is gonna have to go either to Pelipper or Ferrothorn here. And yeah, the Greninja is most likely Balamon on Poik's side. I'm expecting the Coco to be Z, but it could also be Z on the Greninja. And then obviously Electric Seed, Halucha. So it goes into Ferrothorn, that's the SD. We see it's a uh, leftover stab Bulu, so the Z-move is most likely on the Kartana. Um, so Zoma could just go for Superpower. Unless this is Chopper, Gyro Ball, Ferrothorn, Poik is in a tough position here. Uh, yeah, he could pivot into Pelipper, but just superpowering is a completely fine play for Zoma because even if Pelipper comes out, he gets information if the Pelipper is an offensive or defensive variant. And then he might know from that if his Bulu is faster than the Pelipper. And yeah, even if this is Chopper, Ferrothorn, they usually don't carry Gyro Ball that often. So I think superpowering is a completely fine play. So that's just superpower, there's the Pelipper. So from that damage, I'm not sure, but I know that it's definitely max HP Pelipper. I'm not sure if it also has defense investment. So I would assume that this Pelipper is slower than the Bulu, and Poik is most likely going to be forced to pivot back into his Ferrothorn. Zoma could predict that and go for superpower, but it depends on Zomok's spread if he's Jolly or Adamant. So like maybe he's not sure if he's faster than the Pelipper and he's fearing to be slower, which means he could pivot into either Tren or Pex on a potential Hurricane. I could also see that. Because this Bulu is definitely nice in this match, um, not only checking Swampert, Coco, putting in work um, with Ferrothorn with SD Superpower and also beating the Greninja depending on the Greninja set. We don't know yet if it's Balabond or Protein but usually it's Balabond on these teams. So he might not want to risk this and I would understand that because like he could have gotten like a high or low roll and from that he might not be able to tell if the Pelipper is offensive or defensive. So yeah, scouting and going packs or trends could also be a fine play but I'm pretty sure that it's most likely slower that the Pelipper and Pork is probably going to pivot back into Ferrothorn. So he's gonna pivot back Pharaoh, yep, as Zomok switched and uh, he was fearing the, the Pelipper to be faster. So he went into his packs that is probably mixed defensive, um, cause he always... Nah, it's probably Spadev since the Bulu is not AV yet, it's more so Spadev. So Poi could go for spikes or knockoff here. If Zomok has T-spikes, he could get them up, uh, otherwise he could also switch out into his Heatran or Katana. Uh, cause T-spikes would be nice to chip down the Swampert and the Greninja if he has them. So he goes into Heatran and there's the knockoff. Um, Poe gets rid of the leftovers. Now, since he didn't go for T-Spikes, I think that the Pex doesn't have T-Spikes and it's probably a Toxic variant would recover Scald and the last move Haze. That's what I would assume. Uh, so, Zomok could either go for Rocks or he could make it double. Um, Poe's play here is either Greninja, Swampert or Pelipper. So, potential double would be um, Tapu Bulu or Kartana. Those are potential doubles or going for Rocks. Because um, Bulu covers the Swampert and it covers the Greninja, but you would still have to scout for the Greninja set. And yeah, Kartana also covers the Swampert and it covers the Pelipper. And yeah, Bulu would also cover the Pelipper if, he's no, if he would know if he's faster, but it seems he doesn't know that because earlier he switched out fearing the Pelipper to be faster, right? And yeah, the other player would be going for rocks, but I think a double into either Bulu or Kartana is also a really good play to put pressure on Poik. And yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, there's a double into Kartana. On the Pelipper. Yeah, this is most likely theme of Kartana because he did show lefties on the Bulu and like I said, the Landris has to be Scarf. So he could just go for Leaf Blade or he could go for SD. Um, I mean, Poik doesn't have much counterplay. What I would do if I'm Poik, I would probably go on the Ferrothorn here, put it in Leaf Blade. And then I would pivot the next turn into Tapu Koko, scouting for All Out Pummeling. But the problem is if um, Zomo goes for SD here, then he can't even pivot into Pummeling anymore. Because plus two Pummeling would do a lot, even to Coco. But yeah, I'm pretty uh, confident that this is all out pummeling Kartana with... Uh, it doesn't have to be default because the default could also be on the Lando. Uh, now, I would expect the Lando to have Earthquake, U-turn, Stone Edge, or uh, Rock Slide and HPIs. So default is probably on Kartana. So I would assume that this is Leaf Blade, SD, Sacred Sword, and Defog. But it has a knockoff, okay? So maybe it's lacking SD or it's lacking Defog. We will see. So that's the knockoff on the Ferrothorn. 
Uh, if you have all pawning, you can just click that. So I would definitely pivot into Coco here if I'm poic. Hmm. That is a tough spot for Poik. They just just stay in and pummeling is just gonna kill the Ferrothorn. I mean, even Coco would have taken a lot from that, so I understand why Zomok just went for it. So it has to give Ninja. If it's Balabond, he can just click Dark Pulse because he doesn't want to risk missing Pump, obviously. And if it's Protein, um, it would also probably... It would have like Ice Beam, maybe, or it would also have a Water Move because he has Rain, so it would definitely have a Water Move, no matter what Greninja says. Greninja it is. So I would go into Pex here if I'm um, Zomok to scout out if it's Balabond or Protein, even though it's really most likely Balabond, and he could go into um, Bulu. You still want to um, go on the packs to scout. You don't know if this has um, like gunk shot. So it goes in the Bulu. And there's the Dark Pulse confirming that it's Balabond because we don't see Protein. And that is not Spec's damage, so it could be Z move. Uh, since it's not Spec's, it's not choice locked. So Zomok should go on the packs now to scout for the gunk shot. Um, like, I don't know why he didn't go hard packs. I'm assuming he wants to keep the packs healthy for. for um, for what? Maybe for the Pelipper? Uh, he's for Pelipper and for Halucha, he wants to keep it healthy. Yeah, I can understand that. But Pex also has Regenerator. So I think he definitely should have gone to Pex there. Uh, he doesn't know the Greninja set. Like, that was really risky. Like, what if it's Protein? So I would go Pex here or... The thing is, if Poik doesn't have a move to hit this Bulu with, like Ice Beam or Gunk Shot, what is he gonna do? Like, he doesn't have a switch into Horn Leech at this point. Because um, everything would pretty much die besides Halucha and Halucha would also take a lot so he has gunk shot and he misses so that sucks a lot and I don't agree with Zomax play there he should have scouted for it but like I get that it was not obvious that he had gunk shot but it was definitely an option and this Bulu was amazing like he doubled the Bulu out on the Pelipper freeing to be slower but he didn't double it out on the Greninja which is a bit weird to me because this Bulu puts in so much work like so it was like in my opinion um, too risky to stay in there because he didn't know if the Greninja had gunk shot. But yeah, that miss sucked. Poik would have gotten his Balabon form off. And in Ash form, if he's like Dark Kingdom Greninja potentially, he could be able to break through packs quite easily. And he could have potentially won with Balabon Greninja. So that sucks a lot for Poik. Um, now Zomok can just switch out here into um, either Pex or Tran. He goes Tran. I mean, Tran doesn't do anything. He doesn't need Tran for anything. So understand going Tran and he just wants to keep Pex at full. Because uh, Pex is most likely toxic, which is nice for the Halucha to chip that um, so that he doesn't lose to Halucha. But I don't see Poik winning at all at this point. He also misses a pump, which sucks. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure Zomok just wanted to get up rocks. He was fine with sacking the Hedron to get up rocks. Because like I said, Hedron is not needed in this game for him. But yeah, I think Zomok definitely, like, he should have... Like, now I think Zomok guaranteed wins this game as he taunts there and just goes down. Uh, we also know by now that um, the Pelipper was damn broke because the rain was up early, uh, longer earlier. And it also uh, changed... Did it change our moves? Yeah, yeah, it went from Hurricane to Pump, so it's not spec. Um, so now he's gonna have to go into Katana or Peg. Oh, goes Ladi. Yeah, that works. So he goes Ladi. Um, good. Can click Psychic here and Mega Evolve. Seems pretty free. Poik has no switch-ins. Um, like... Swampert could take one, but then Swampert cannot Oko and it would get 2 hit KO'd. Coco might take one, but also would take a lot. So, like, Poik has to stack something here. And yeah, Poik has no hazards up, he's down, and I don't see him winning this game at all. But yeah, if he didn't miss the gunk shot on the Budo, I think he definitely had a shot. So, that, that was like a crucial turn in this game for sure. I'm not saying Poik would have auto won, but. Balabon Greninja, especially if it's Darkinium, or even if it's not Darkinium, it can just fish for flinches on the packs. Um, yeah, like if it's Darkinium, um, packs would have lost to it when we won. But Zomak would not have necessarily lost the game to the Balabon Greninja because he could have still toxic it, the Greninja with the packs, and then um, potentially sacked something else on the next turn. Not risking flinch. But the Zomak is gonna have to Ice Punch here. Ladi is just gonna start Draco Psychic, just Psychic, not risking the miss, gets another crit. Uh, that crit also doesn't matter because he just wanted damage on the Pert, I guess, and he's just sacking the Ladi. And uh, after he sacks the Ladi, then he can go in the Cartana and click Leaf Blade and get another kill. Like, that doesn't matter, That cr this crit doesn't matter. But uh, Gunshot miss just sucked a lot, and yeah. 
unfortunate to see um, the game be decided like that. Um, yeah, like I still think I, like, I don't want to um, hate on Zomok. Like, Zomok is a good player, a great player even. Um, but I just and I still think he would have had a good shot to, uh, to win the game, right? Like I don't want to hate him or anything. Just making clear, right? But I still think it would have been smarter to scout for that. But it's also easy to say this as a viewer. It's, I, I always I say this a few times, like every now and then. Um, if you're watching, it's way different than if you're playing. Um, but yeah, Katana just clicks Leaf Blade here and gets a kill, right? I assume it's just gonna sack the Swampert because the rain is gonna end soon, so after rain ends, this is slower than Katana and Landris. And yeah, it doesn't do anything anyway after that. So his only way of winning at this point is the Halucha. So what does Halucha set up on? He earthquakes, they get a good amount of Leaf Blade picks off the Pert. So now he's gonna have to go Coco because he needs the terrain up before he can put in work with Halucha. Yeah, I don't see Halucha winning this uh, because the pack probably has Toxic because it didn't have Toxic spikes. Um, yeah, Zoma can go into his um, Tabu Bulu here or he could also stay in, but I think going Tabu Bulu is fine. That changes up the terrain and if Poik bolts out into Halucha that means he doesn't get his seed up. So the HGB Ice is there and um, he's gonna have to vault out here into his Halucha. I assume we see a Horn Leech from Zamak. Yep. And that does a good chunk because the Halucha doesn't have the sense boost because the electric seed uh, is not up because like the terrain was changed. So now um, there's a free switch into Pex for Zomok. Um, Poi could roost, I guess. He could roost or he could double back into um, Coco. So he doubles back into Coco. Um, he just wants to get the terrain back up and this also covers Zomok going into Pex. So there's the Pex. Now, what have you seen from this Pex? I don't remember. I don't think it revealed any moves, right? So Poi could vault or he could hard into Halucha um, because harding into Halucha would cover Zomok switching into Bulu. So he does go hard into Halucha to get the electric seed and the defense boost. As he reveals Baneful Bunker. So Baneful Bunker is called Recover and last move I assume Toxic. Um, like that's what at least what I'm thinking since we see Baneful Bunker it's probably lacking Haze. If it has Baneful Bunker and not Toxic and it has Haze and it's lacking Toxic, then this could be a problem. But he has Toxic. If he didn't have Toxic, if he only had Baneful Bunker, then I think his play there was spamming Haze. But since he has Toxic and Baneful Bunker, that means he doesn't have Haze. And yeah, he just Toxic it, and now he can lose, because Toxic and yeah, spamming Skull to get more chip, and now he can lose at all. Because uh, Halucha is on a timer, now Pox switch it out, which means he loses the Unburden. And he, like Halucha's only way of winning there was Zomok not having Toxic and not having haze, which was pretty unlikely. Well, I guess if he had... Um, if he didn't have haze, and yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much the win con. He had to hope for the packs being the worst set of all time, not having toxic and not having haze. Um, I don't see how else he could have won. And yeah, um, Holy just picks up the kill. I mean, there's not... I didn't... These last two, three turns... There's not much to narrate. Because after the Halucha was toxic, the game was so over. Like, I think it was over like ages ago, but that confirmed that it was over, right? So Zomok actually has a really good record now. Um, at one point he had a negative record, but he's, uh, he's positive. I think he's 5-3 and three after picking up the win with Poik now. And Poik um, did really well in Auras, but now he's back in SM and he lost again. Um, I think he's back in SM because CBB is in Auras. And CBB is playing Blunder tomorrow, stay tuned for that match. That match is super hyped. I know like, everyone already knows about that match because Blunder is advertising it everywhere. But yeah, let me pause it real quick and show you guys the score. So we see here um, the Cryos versus the Tyrants. The, the Tyrants are up 1-0 now after Zamok beat Poik. And yes, Sweet Pitch versus Will of Fire is the other SMOU game. And I was really confused when I saw this because like they both got subbed in. Like I know who Sweet Pitch is but I don't know anything about Will of Fire. So that was weird for me to see. I'm like, who's this? <laughs> but yeah, we can see here is the match that we all want to see. CBB versus Blunder tomorrow. Um, oh, Aim is playing again. He's in with Blue Wind. Oh yeah, Aim got um, played SMO last week and now he's playing DPP. Also, like Aim, um, I wanted to record his game, but he played 4 a.m. my time. I, I went to sleep at 3 a.m. last weekend and Aim played 4 a.m. my time and I missed that game and I was annoyed. But then I saw the replay on his 
channel and the game wasn't that great so I'm not that sad that I missed it uh, anyways what else am I gonna say yeah um I was just talking about the aim game that I missed that's like one of the only games that I missed I recorded almost every other single game uh, for SMOU and Aura's Live there were only like a few games that I missed um, like I think the tennis game that I missed last week and I recorded every other, other game for Aura's and SMOU so you can expect them um, I sent them to my man Ultra Boss so you can expect them and if he doesn't have that much time I will also bring you guys some of them but yeah thank you for watching I uh, grad so much for the win and yeah I think one slight misplay but it happens and he still won um, he got the dodge and yeah like I said earlier he could have still won without the hacks but definitely favored him a lot and yeah I think maybe Poik yeah Poik was just really weak to that SD Bulu as well and like he could have gotten up some spikes but to be fair, that I don't think he could have like he could have played it a little bit better, but that was just a tough game for Poik. Like I don't think he misplayed that much. It was just really tough to win. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, so I keep talking and try to find out what I forgot to say. But I can't think of anything. So if I remember what I wanted to say, I will just put it in the description or comment. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more content and peace out.